Hello, my amiable learners. Good morning. How do you do? Okay. We have basic science. Basic science. And the topic before us is measurement. Measurement. What is measurement? Measurement is to find a number that shows the amount of something. Measurement is to find a number that shows the amount of something. Things that can be measured. Number one, area. The wideness and longness of a, a place or a space or something. Mass and weight. Lightness and heaviness of something. Capacity. The amount of things something can contain and all that. We can also measure time. There are special instruments for measurement. Number one is a thermometer. We use it to measure temperature, the hotness or, or coldness of something, somebody, or an environment. I'm sure you notice, you know this one. Because of the pandemic, almost every organization has this to check the temperature of those coming in into that establishment. We are using it in our school, I'm sure you remember. It's a kind of thermometer. There are other types of thermometer. The one the doctors will, the nurses will put under your armpit to check you when you are sick. It's also a thermometer. Different types. Rain gauge for measuring rainfall. The amount of rainfall in a location. This is called rain gauge. Rain gauge. This one is wind vane or weather cock. You can call it wind vane or weather cock. It is used to check the direction of the wind. The rest are very common. For example, scales. We know scales for measuring fish. When you go to a um, cold room, measure the meat, they measure the fish. You can ask mommy to take you along this weekend so that you look at scales. Different scales. You can use scale to measure your weight. You climb on it. Some you stand by it. You climb on it. Some we they use it to hook something in the like bags to check the weight ruler you use ruler in the class tape they tell us mostly use tape when they want to sew our clothes to measure us so that they can make our size there's an activity here draw any type of thermometer number one draw any type of thermometer Number two, find out how many glasses of water that can fill your bathing bucket. Find out how many glasses of water that can fill your bathing bucket. How do you do it? Use glass of water and fill up your, you, use a tumbler or a cup and fill up your bathing bucket. You know, as you are filling it, you count the number of cups you are pouring inside the bucket. Is that okay? Alright, that's the end of this lesson for today. So, I am expecting the answers to the activities. Okay?